Welcome back to more Sunday League football with our reserve side. And right here, right now, we're bringing you arguably the biggest game of the league season so far. This one's part one versus Wok and Duna. And here they are. We can finally put some faces to this name. And there's no denying that this is going to be a very tough test. They scored an average of nine goals per game in the league. And hopefully, we're going to make sure they get nowhere near that today. As you know, it's been a two horse race pretty much since the beginning, although Wok and Duna dropped points back in October against third place North Forest. Bit of an off day for them. And since then, we've been sitting proud at the top with our 100% record. Something Wok and Duna definitely want to be putting a dent in today. So we know what a win can do for us completely put this out of their hands but we also know what win can do for them as well so we're all gonna have to be on it today let's find out the starting lineup that kev's picked for this one okay in between the sticks for this one we've got a frank then it's a back four of jordan ainsley gonzo and pep moving into the middle three we've got a liam a bill and a perry and then on the wings we've got hassan and charlie which leaves the big man up top it is of course greavesy three available on the bench for this one we've got scottish jamal and we've got shove here we go both teams ready to roll in this one referee just doing the final checks shall we do this yeah of course let's do this so as you heard, it's pretty windy out there today. We'll have to see if that makes a difference in this one as the ball's in the air from Ainsley. Liam heads it up. Brought his orange kit today, as you can see, he's in black shorts and socks. Didn't get the memo, did he? Anyway, it's a free kick, which Ainsley is going to take, sending it up the field. Keepers off the line here. Oh, Go on, then. Oh. Oh. See what, if that was on target, the keeper might have punched that into his own net. It's not to be. We've got a corner as Perry sends that in. Almost over everyone's head, but the 11's battle there. Number 11 and Hassan. As he gets that under control here, he's going to look to put it across the box. He does. It's into Bill. Bill's going to get the shot in. It's blocked. And then Wok and Duna can clear their lines. A promising start, but as we clear it there, it's out to the number two. Sticks it back over the top, and it's out to the number nine on that far side. One of their semi-pros that they're boasting. He's got the better of Jordan here as he looks to chip it to Wolves' goal, but Frank stayed on his line. In the end, it's an easy catch. We move on. It's number 15 that clears the ball up to the captain. The number eight gets it under control. Liam wins it back there, and it's blown up for a free kick. You might recognise this ref from a few weeks ago. He's no nonsense to the point of you can't say a thing. I mean, the sense one thing we know about that, but Bill literally just said he got the ball. Referee not happy with him, and he's got a warning. We're going to continue with the 23 for Wokan Duna, throwing it into the middle of the park. 15 hits it up in the air first time. Number nine rises Hyde and Pep there to put it onto the 11. Half volley, great strike from him, and equally a good save from Frank there. Following that, I can't tell you Adam because I can't see anything. We move on. It's a throw from the 11 on this near side. I chest it back to him by the 10. 11 puts it into the box. It's over Pep's head. Gonzo clears. And Hassan here is going to look to clear it on the volley. But instead, he's giving it back to Frank. They're asking for the pass back, but refs ignored it. Similar situation on the far side over there. This time, it's Charlie throwing it to Greavesy. He gets it back. Charlie with a cross into the box. Oh! Ah, oh, mate, he's only going to hit the Denver, isn't he? But Perry's going to try and follow this up with a, a chance as well as he looks to go beyond the 16. He has as he makes his way into the box. He tripped there. That's naughty. And we're going to have ourselves a free kick. And the no-nonsense ref wants a little word with number 16 there. And it looks like he's going to be going into the book. Of course, that's £10 to S6FA. But you heard it here first. Next season, potentially, it could be £15 to S6FA. It's going up. And £15 to S6FA just doesn't have the same ring to it, does it? This came out at a recent meeting. And they're also potentially going to be doing sin bins, which is, a, to be honest, it's a silly idea. But for now, we're going to concentrate on this season, particularly this game as Charlie steps up to take this free kick. He's into the box. He's headed away by the defender out to that far side. Hassan's going to chase it down. The number 23 catches him from behind. I don't think he meant it, but Hassan's boot's gone flying off there. The ref's given another free kick, but how close was that to being in the box? I do not know. Free kick it is, though. So it's Perry that's going to step up to take this one. It's over the wall and just over the bar as well. Unlucky. Here we've got Ainsley now picking the ball up inside around half, going beyond the number nine and then playing it over to Hassan here. He hasn't quite got control of the ball, but he's got it still as he goes beyond the 23. Tackle comes in, falls back to him after the 16's bad control. And he's still going forward here. Goes beyond the next man. It's the 11 that gets the foot in there just at the right time. And that goes straight through to the keeper. He's then going to get the play going straight away with this throw. So decent throw as well. Over the halfway line as it bounces beyond Ainsley. Liam there with a the challenge from behind. It's not really a challenge. Just shoved him in the back and put him over, isn't he? So it's another free kick. And number nine wants to take it quickly. But Bill steps in front. Actually takes the ball a bit as well. Ref's not happy with that. And now he's going to produce the yellow card. And there it is. Only 15 minutes in. Bill's going to have to be careful now. 23 is going to step up to take this one. And into the box it goes. Frank's off of his line. Punches it away from the number eight. Out to the number nine. That's poor by his standards. And out it goes for a goal kick. Long ball time. As 23 involved again. Puts it over the top. And it's going to be for the number 10. It's over Ainsley's head. But he's going to recover well by blocking this shot. Number nine is going to get the follow up. He's faked the shot to get past Pep. But Ainsley's caught up with him. Great challenge from him there to put that out for a throw. He's Hassan causing more problems for Wokan Duna. But it's a good challenge from the defender. Ball falls to Greavesy there. But the shot not enough to trouble the man between the sticks and literally a save for the cameras from the keeper I reckon we move on and it's Pep with a throw towards the edge of the box to build there looks like he was shoved in the back we didn't see it but ref's given the free kick and it's Charlie that's going to step up to take this one it's a great ball into Perry Get <laughs> Unlucky. Meanwhile, up the other end, we've got the number 10 to deal with. He might have only scored around 40 goals this season. Not much to deal with, eh? As he looks to make his way into the box, Liam comes in there with a challenge. Ainsley comes in after with another challenge. 
you know what, it doesn't matter how many men it takes as long as we stop them. And number 10's not happy with that. He's actually just talked himself into a booking. That's another £10 to SXFA. The ball did go out for a throw, and it's the number two that sends it into the box. He's nodded on there towards the back post. It's the number 10 with the overhead kick, but he's not connected well. Now he's out for the goal kick. So it's Frank that takes that goal kick. It's over the halfway line, but on the end of it is the number 23. Unchallenged. We need to be putting challenges in there. But we could get the seconds as Hassan looks to get it down, but he loses out to the number 11, and in doing so, he's through to the number nine. He's going to look to take on Pep here. He does, but Ainsy in there with a lovely challenge as it falls through to Frank, and the boot goes in on Frank's chest there. And as you can see, bodies are being put on the line for this game. Ainsley struggling as well. A little bit of time passes, and we get some movement from both players. Ainsley looks like he's going to carry on. Frank's still struggling, though. Hopefully he can carry on, because we haven't got a Sean today, as number 10 picks it up there. Ainsley on his case. It's got to be said, he's playing very well today, but as I say, that number 10 looks to get away from Ainsley. Ref's actually blowing up for the whistle. That's, uh, that's going to be a free kick. Not too sure why. But that 23 is going to send it into the box once more. On the end of it is the number 9. Doesn't get the shot in, but it falls to the 10. That's straight at Frank. Parried, and that is away by Jordan. We get no buses over here, but look at those birds in the background. What a beautiful sight as the number 15 sends it into the box. Number 16 in acres of space. He gets it down. It's a late challenge from Gonzo. And that's going to be a penalty. The ref's got no other choice. And Charlotte's not quite sure what to film right now. But they're jumping up for joy over that far side. So here we go. The captain of what can do the number eight against Frank in between the sticks. What's it going to be? Yes! Yeah! That could be crucial. Frank, well done, that man. I'm going to put it out there, and I'm sure someone's going to correct me, but I actually can't remember a time where a Palmer's FC goalkeeper has actually saved the penalty. It's an interesting run-up from the number eight. In the end, it was a good height for Frank to parry it to his left. We can't actually see what happens after that, but a shot comes in, and that goes over, a bit wide and over. But look at the keeper. Boom. Effortless, like that. To be honest, it's a goalkeeper masterclass in one clip. Frank with the penalty save, and the keeper in the background punching it back into play. Moving on from that, we've got number two sending it into the box. What can do to have been in control towards the end of this half as it comes back out there? Number 16 misses it, falls out to the 23, who hits it first time, but that is out and onto the other pitch. Where's the other keeper when you need him? Eventually, Frank collects the ball and takes the goal kick. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, that's half time with the game still in the balance. So it's shaping up to be an interesting second half. But before we get there, it's time to give you guys a shout out. Those of you that have managed to grab our shirt, the one sponsored by Kit Lucky, you can grab it from palmersfc.co.uk. Just like Alex, or maybe you didn't get it, maybe someone got it for him. It looks like they did, because I've missed this Christmas picture. And fittingly enough, we've got the snow in the background too. Lovely. Enjoy your shirt, Alex, and thank you for your support. Next up, we've got this absolute hero who's a fan of Palmers FC, cancer survivor twice, and now back playing Sunday League football. Thanks to Kit Locker, he's got his orange shirt now. Massive props to you, my man. Hashtag stronger every day. I couldn't agree more. Finally, we've got Mr. Andrew Knight. He's grabbed his orange shirt. Long sleeve for the cold Chicago weather. I'm glad it made it over the pond, my friend. He's also got his name and number on the back. Andrew, thank you for your support. Come on, your palmers. If you haven't sent us a photo of your shirt or you in your shirt, send it across. You know where we are. And also, don't forget to follow us on the socials. But now it's time for the second half. 45 minutes remains and a win for either side will definitely shape the season. Before we get going, Ainsley spotted some dog poo on the pitch. I don't know how it survived the first half, but it's our opponent's manager is going to deal with the situation. And he's well known in our leagues for putting together sides that win lots of trophies. Fair play. There's also a lot of people out there that say it talks a lot of crap. Right now, He's picking it up. Dedication to the calls. Well done, that man. So with that all sorted, it's time to crack on with the second half. Let's do this. <laughs> So we start things off in the second half with two clearing it up the field, but it comes off of Greavesy. Falls to Charlie, who puts it back inside to Greavesy. Charlie was taken out there. Play carries on for the moment, but Greavesy's ushered out and it is brought back for the free kick. Charlie's going to stand over this one as Kevin, number 10, have a little conversation. Kev. Yep, Kev in the way, not once, but twice here as Perry heads it. But that loops over the bar. We continue over that far side as Bill takes the ball off the number two, gives it to Hassan. There's two balls on the field. It's all over the shows. The ball's given to Greavesy. Lino's flagging like a madman. Greavesy carries on, shot with the outside of the foot, but that goes wide of the goal. I think what the Lino meant was offside, and that free kick is going to be taken now by the goalkeeper. It's worth pointing out that what can do to have the win with them. So a nice little advantage this half as Frank comes off his line there to collect the ball. And then we're going again. And it's with Jordan who's going to poke it down the line to Charlie. Nice little flick around the 23 there, but it's number 16 that takes over. Back heel from him into the 8 who threads it through to the 10. And now he's going to be on his way. Surrounded by blue shirts as he makes his way towards the byline. Shot comes in, but it's a good block from Jordan there. Falls out to the free looks to get it into the box, but he slices the effort and that goes out for the goal kick. What can do on the attack again as number 11 nods it down to the number 9 on that far side. He's going to let's go beyond Pep as he opens up with the right, he sees his effort go over the bar there. As you can see, Frank is still struggling from the first half where he was studied in the chest. As I say, no Sean today. Let's hope he can carry on. We've been under the cosh for a bit without any real chances. Charlie's going to send this one up the field, but there's going to be no one there. And it's going to come straight back as that keeper gets under control. He's going to send it up the field again. Win takes it. It's a long ball over Pep this time. It's going to be too much for the 11 as well, but this is the game plan at the moment. Long ball's over the top. And here comes another one, 23, looking for the number nine. Frank's off of his line. He's called for it, but Ainsley's headed it past him. Luckily, that's gone wide of the goal. 
well. Jordan has to keep that in, but it does go out for the corner. And that corner is about to be put into the box. Jordan headers it from the far post out to the edge of the box. Number nine is going to look to get onto it. Ainsley is going to chase him down and win it back. That's great work from Ainsley there. But he's panicked there and put it up the field to absolutely no one. He had Bill on the inside who could have put it forward to Perry here. But like I say, hits no one. That's straight through to the goalkeeper. What can do in asserting their dominance in this game. It's all one way at the moment as the ball comes into the box. It falls to the eight. Oh my God. Hands on his head. He knows that's a bad one. Only had to tap it home, but he's blasted it over the bar. Probably the best chance of the game for either team so far. And with that, the score stays nil-nil. Substitution time. Hassan's coming off to make way for Scottish. His first real action comes from a Pep throws. He gets it under control. Nods it on. Pep continues the run. Now we've got 50-50. <laughs> That escalated quickly, didn't it? Obviously, after that, the ref's got a decision to make now, but we'll have a little look back as you come in here. You can see it's a 50 50 ball. It's the number two that seems to have come off worse. I think he hit his head on the way down there. He's holding his face instead, though. But he's quick to get over that. And Pep checks to make sure he's all right. He gets a smack around the face for it. Okay, well, let's see what's going to happen here. Ref actually pulls a yellow card out for Pep. I assume he didn't see it as a 50 50. It's going to be a free kick. Not long after, number two is already walking. He's been showing the red card, and we've got a fantastic advantage now. So the free kick is taken. It's sent up the field. It's over the defender's heads here. Number nine looks to run onto it, but that's going to go straight out for a goal kick. Here come Wakanduna again now as number 12 wins the ball off of Greaves. He's taken on Perry as well. They're keeping it on the floor which might be smart but Pep's blocked that pass and now we can go on our way. Number 12 with a nasty challenge from behind there. Surprisingly enough, not giving a yellow card, just a free kick it is. It's like Zanzi that steps up to take this one as he sends it into the box. He's looking for Greavesy here but that's over his head and the number three can hook that away. A few long balls from Wakanduna later and it's with Frank who sends it back up the field. It bounces once. Perry nods it on. Well, looks to deal with it, but shoves on his case. Who's just replaced Gonzo on the field. Number three gets it. He's going back to the keeper, but Perry gets in there ahead of him. Ball's bouncing. He can't get it out of his feet as he cuts it back. Goes for the shot. That goes wide of the goal. Normally you bet on Perry burying that, but this time it wasn't to be. Unlucky. I know this chance didn't result in anything positive, but I do want to give a shout out to Perry for being totally honest here. We see it so often on the biggest of stages, players conning the ref, leaving their foot out around about here to get contact, to go down to win a penalty. That's what I like about Perry. He's only thinking about the goal. Unfortunately, it didn't come. With some fantastic chances in this game for both sides, the score remains nil-nil. Back to the long ball game now. This one's put over the top for the 11. It's over his head, but it does fall to the number nine. Scottish is going to look to double up with Pep here, but in doing so, he's left number 11, who gives it back to the number nine. He's going to do well to keep it in, and he does. He puts it across for the 10. Whoa. Absolute heartbreak. This is one of those games where you have to be switched on 100% of the time, I and mean, if you don't, you get punished, and we have been punished here. Number 10 on the volley from his shin there. You normally see them go all over the place, but today it's been good to him. It ends up in the back of our net, and it is 1-0 to Wakanduna. Third and final substitution. Now Liam's off for Jamal, as you can see there, and that's a kickoff. And now it's all about trying to get back into this game. Shove winning the ball off for 23. Bill taking over there. He's blocked off by the 10, and that's going to be a free kick, which 10 is not happy about. That's a great opportunity to put this one into the box, but Greaves has gone for the shot instead, and it's a poor one as well as that rolls out for a goal kick. If we come Again now looking for the equaliser. Shove on the halfway line. He should be more forward, but he's putting it up to Scottish there. He gets the ball beyond the 70. He's being dragged back. That's going to be another free kick for us. So Charlie, it's going to float this one up towards the back post. Keeper gets a hand on it to take it away from Shove. And then falls to the three who clears it. Ref's blind his whistle though for a free kick. Not too sure what for. And so we move on. And we're with the 23 here. Opens up with his right from distance. <laughs> Throwing everything at it now as the ball comes over. 12 clears, but it's only as far as Pep who gives it to Perry. As he turns, he walks into a sea of red, just surrounded by red shirts out there. He tries to get the shot in, but that is blocked. And it falls to the 11 on that far side, who hits it up the field first time. And on the end of it is going to be the number nine, who looks to be in on goal here. Frank's committed. Nine goes around him. And it's an open goal that awaits him as he gets this out of his feet, looks up, hits it home. But Jordan's there to clear it off the line. That goes out for a throw on the far side. Here's Frank now looking for an outlet as he sends this one up the field. It's over the halfway line, nodded on by Bill. Into shove. Can he make something happen here? 12 blocks him off. The shove handles it. Ref's going to blow up, and that is yet another free kick. And so, as always, it's that keeper that sends it up the field. Another good kick from him with the help of the win. He's over Scottish here as the 11 gets in there. He's blasted it well over the bar, but it's actually been brought back for a free kick. Now, I didn't actually see it the first time. I can't actually tell you what the ref has seen here, but as the ball goes over the top, the only thing I can see is number nine and Pep tussling there as the ball went through to the 11 who hit it on the half volley. It went miles away. That's for a free kick. What can do? The players weren't asking for it, but they've got it and they'll take it. It's the number 10 that steps up. It hits the wall, comes back to him on the volley. Yeah, well done, ref! And just like that, any chance of getting back into this game have definitely now gone. To be honest, it was a soft free kick to concede and a lot of luck here as the ball came off of the wall, but decent volley. I think Frank saw that late. It bounced in front of him into the back of the net and just like that, it's Wakanduna 2. 
Palmer's FC reserves nil. And so we kick off. And following that, they're after a third long throw into the box, headed on by the number nine, but that's an easy catch for Frank. Up the other end, we've got Scottish throwing it up to shove. That line is getting far too involved for my liking. He's after a foul throw. Let's be honest, mate, it wasn't a foul throw, was it? Shove looks to put this into the box, but nobody there. Easy catch for the keeper. Eventually, he did get up and send this one up the field, but Shove was trying to block it. Ref gives a free kick. Another one. And when we do get around to take the free kick, this game is put to bed. <laughs> And just like that, our 100% record comes to an end. And if we were going to lose it to anyone, it was definitely going to be this side. And don't get me wrong, they're a good team. And they've been beating some very good teams in the higher divisions as well. But I don't think we're that far off. And we had some fantastic opportunities today. Let's have a quick look at what that does to the table anyway. We're still top of the league. Say we are top of the league. They should definitely make that into a song. But probably not for long. Two games in hand, five points behind. If they win them, obviously they'll go above us. But this league is not over by any stretch. If anything, today's result has made it all the more exciting. If both teams can win all of their remaining games, then the reverse leg between us two will be looking at a similar situation to Palmers versus Scruttons a few years ago, a league title decider. But for now, it's handshakes all round. I think they know they had a game today and they appreciate it as well because this league has been a walk for them so far. The end message here is we might have lost, but this is definitely not over. A massive thank you to you guys for your continued support. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sure you check out the playlist to catch up with any videos that you haven't seen. We've got the first team Sunday League football and more Sunday League football this one with our reserves. I'll see you in the next one.